Yo, 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 welcome Team Mad Titan, and today we've got another CGC haul. So uh, we'll be going through what we've got graded, and this is actually, uh, I think these are Jonathan Meddins' ones. So we're going to be uh, probably slating most of these. Ho all, they're hopefully, all. hopefully they're not all 9-8 like last time. Bastard. Anyway, stay tuned to see what we think, yeah? All right, everyone, so we're back. As Gio was saying, we are looking at the CGC haul. So this is uh, ones I've just picked up from CGC for uh, Johnny Medin. So what I'll do is before we give them back to him, might as well make a video out of it. So why Share not? them with you. So um, what are we doing? Are you giving them yeah, to I'll me? Yeah, I'll be Debbie McGee. So we have Totally Awesome Hulk number 22, 2017. Do you know anything <laughs> about the comic? Well, no, this is the... You're um, meant to be the knowledgeable guy. Not really. So this is actually the first um, appearance of Weapon H. So this um, kind of storyline kind of really took off. And Rip it's off in, in especially in America, uh, over that side of the pond, um, it's, it's some of the comics really, really went up in value quite quickly. It's Hulk um, for a Wolverine merge, isn't it? Something like that? It is, actually. The, one of the first person to do one of the covers was actually uh, Scan. Scan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, remember so they, I, lo I love that cover. That's they the best told one. Me, they told me before it came out, they showed me it. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Should have grabbed yourself a copy, innit? I should have, but the thing is, if I get anything signed by him, it's, it's not going to be... Not worth anything, really green it? label. He's done that sketch for me, and then you took it, but... Anyway, another story. What do you mean? So this is, uh, yeah, 9.4. So you obviously cared totally about it. You awesome gave it to me. 22. So first appearance of Weapon H. Uh, any other stuff on there? Uh, Old Man Logan appearance, Sabretooth, Domino, Warpath, Lady Deathstrike. And uh, this is the Stonehouse cover, 9.4. I don't know if we said that. I don't, you know, it's coming on to this next one. I really don't agree with this. I just don't agree with this at all. Well, that the reprinting of this, I just, I just don't like it. This is Incredible Hulk sort of. This is like facet. What's this called? Like facet smile. It's like a fax, yeah. Edition one eight one. It's like basically it's a reprinted copy of the comic, and I really don't like it yeah. because what it does is it basically this is for people who want to put it on their shelf and and want to pretend like it's the real thing, and I just don't agree. I think you. you I just don't think you should have these. I, d I just, I don't oh. think they should be made. But I got two of these in 9.8. Um, yeah. Anyway, so this is, uh, you know, if you actually look at this, the differences are obviously going to be uh, the barcode down here, but then also it says 3.99 here. So they're the only differences, but, you know, right, what, would it, what people, should it say? Uh, 25 cents. Oh, okay. So, uh, but then like some people on, when this first came out, people were listing this like really high on eBay. And some people kind of fall in for the but, fact yeah, that But that's my it. point, the deception. Yeah. You wouldn't know. I, I mean, I, I've got to be honest, I wouldn't know. Well, there are like a lot of the kind of reprints normally are the uh, Triple E. And they yeah, but I like that because they actually say across um, it. They're a little bit more obvious. But this, there, there are, there, this is more of an increasing thing at the moment where they're doing these uh, these fax editions. And, um, nah, I shouldn't do that. I mean, I, I I own it, so I'm, I'm happy to Shouldn't. own it. And I own go the outside original. and think about what you did. Go stand in the corner and think about it. You're scamming. <laughs> so prick. yeah, so that's the uh, that's Johnny's Hulk 181. This is another massive. I didn't realise this is so big. Uh, again, I have this comic myself. I, so this is the Marvel's uh, anoint annotated annotated. Yeah, annotated number three. So this is very recent as well. Actually, this came to me. I got this off Sad Lemon. Mm. Um, I'm guessing Johnny's probably done the same. It's a nice cover, this. I really like this. So a nice silver surface. Yeah, so this well. is uh, Delotto. Um, yeah, this is Delotto, so that's why Johnny's got that. Uh, it's a thick cover. This is a short series at the moment, which I think is on number six. And um, number three is one of my favourites. When I saw this image, um, this this one could really do with a virgin copy of it. The mm. print is really, It's really also quite nice. big, in it? The Marvel part across yeah, it. It's it does really take big. Up quite a it's lot. Like, almost like a magazine. Yeah. The way it's been sort of... Mm. The, it's a the, shame, the really, but it still is a nice cover. Number... the This series is really, really heated up at the moment because number five of this is the first cameo of Wolverine's daughter. And then number six, which sold out in seconds, is the first appearance of Wolverine's daughter. So uh, if people are following What's this series... I don't know. I don't know. First appearance of Wolverine. Smurf. But, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so they, they, it's quite hard to get. The people who started collecting and then all of a sudden they announced you know, Wolverine's daughter was going to be in there, it's uh, it's hard to get hold of. It's a nice one, that one. Even though the back's quite cool. Yeah, it's not bad. You, uh, you would think it was a proper cover. This is really big and all that. But then again, this is Detective Comics 1000. This is a Gabriel Del Delotto cover as well, so I'll let you go into this. Yeah, so... Uh, it's a Virgin as yeah, well. Yeah, this, this is, nice. is the Virgin edition. So, basically, this is the bulletproof one. And uh, this is Gabriel Delotto. Funny story, which um, 
is obviously not funny for Johnny. But uh, when <laughs> Johnny and Mike came over to drop off some comics, pick some up, uh, basically uh, Mike bought the Trade and Virgin pack. Johnny bought the Virgin and they were in the same packet. Johnny basically took out the comics from there, goes, you know, here's your Virgin, here's my one. And uh, Mike's come back as a 9-9 and Johnny's come back as a 9-8. So Mike being the kind of guy he is, uh, rather than being really happy he got a 9-9, he was really sad for the fact that Johnny didn't. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, Fuck it up. I was like, are you serious? Like, oh man, I can't believe Johnny didn't. You know, he went to all the house to order it for me. And I was like, dude, I went to New York. I picked up a comic. I picked up two comics. I fucking took them to the cinema. I carried them around the street, took them home, put them in my case, brought them back, gave George one. I graded one. Mine come back 9-2, George got 9-8. George said, fuck you. And that was all I can. Dude, listen. Different kind of relationship. Winners, the winners don't care about but fucking other people. Cover. Beautiful cover. Beautiful cover. There are no packs between lions and men. Yeah. Right. This is Avengers Annual Number 10. Now, this is actually a, this is a key comic because this is the first appearance Rogue. of Rogue and Madeline Pryor. Now, anyone who does not know, Madeline Pryor is Cable's mum. She is the clone of Jean Grey that was created by Mr. Sinister. So, yep. very, very, uh, that's a very cool cover that. And I think, what's that, a seven grade? It's not too tall. She's Cable's mum. Yes, she is, yeah. yeah. Well, um, get, you know, get, did you say that? Yes. I'm oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. Of course you were, I have no doubt. I was just you switched off, right? As soon as I start talking, yeah, switch off. I, I, I kind of like, like a hum. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah. uh, basically yeah Johnny sent off two of these and they both come back as a seven um, it's about which I think no I think it's good but he's upset much he better rather have an eight five and a five wouldn't you well maybe so yeah nice cover and this one's kind of going up in value Johnny kind of tracks them more and knows the ones which he are does, yeah. uh, trending more than we do maybe I should look at the ones he kind of picks up and maybe try and follow suit but yeah Avengers annual number ten this is uh this is horrible. This one. This is uh, Wolverine number one hundred and thirty-three. This is a French. This is a French edition, and yeah. uh, maybe that's their interpretation of Wolverine. But yeah, he awfully is... he looks awfully vogue for Wolverine, yeah. doesn't he? A little bit. So vogue. this is the uh, yeah French edition. This is again um, with uh, Johnny's things. These are the lot of covers. So um, he wasn't very happy. This came back as an eight, but um, it is what it is. And uh, he, I think Johnny's got like most of the Delato covers that, that, that have come out. So he kind of picked this one to, to go with his collection. God, you're disappointed when you start that, when you start that train. It's a uh, messy, messy road. You don't get, there's no stops you get off, there's, um, there's one of this which is very similar, which is um, on a landscape. Yeah, I don't know. There's a really similar one, yeah, where he's got his arms kind of spread out more. Okay, so this is fear number 19. This is actually the first appearance of Howard the Duck and Correct. I don't know who they are. I know Howard the Duck is, but I mean, again, this is 6.5. It's horrible. Looks like you. I like, also think um, you, like you drew it. I think Johnny um, he picked Got this up. Quite bad Newton rings on that one as well. That one's one of the worst I've seen. Yeah, it's bad. I might have to uh, take this one back before I give it to Johnny. So yeah, so first appearance of Howard the Duck. Uh, Johnny actually got this in a um, uh, raffle, so he paid uh, under retail for this, and then obviously because of the talk about um, Howard the Duck entering the MCU, uh, talking about either in a movie or uh, like a Netflix show. Uh, the value of this one's kind of going up, so Johnny Four, he jumped up him. in there. He, you always know he, whatever he's doing is is there's yeah yeah there's he's a little aware. bit of a rhyme. He plays he plays it. dumb, but plays stupid, yeah, but he ain't. He well, when he when he like, when he when you want to sell him something, he's he not pretends stupid. to be dumb. Yeah, right? but that's like Gary. Yeah, Gary speeds like that, exactly like that. He acts like he fucking doesn't have a clue about anything. To you go, yeah, well, it's you, fifty quid. Saying, he's like, hold on, saying he's like an idiot savant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's like, hold on a minute. It's like you know that came out in 2017, and it was like I've seen three on like, eBay. Oh, like, fuck you, 17, Gary. 1960, <laughs> yeah. man. All right, so this is Eternals number one. I don't even know what this is. Yep. So this is, is this? actually the Eternals. So the, basically, they are making a movie of this. Uh, ah, which is, of course they are uh, coming out. So, <laughs> Why wouldn't they be? If yeah. Getting so the um, I believe that Angelina Jolie was signed to uh, to be in that, and also well, that's, like, um, that's going to flop then. Uh, the girl from Stranger Things who plays Eleven, I can't remember her name, uh, Bobby something, but uh, she's also in Godzilla. Uh, you need to go on that, by the way, Stranger Things. Really? Yeah, yeah. Why? Stranger, Stranger Things is really good. Really? Season one. It's got um, a shit name. Season one is really good. What's it about? Season three. Uh, like, give me a. Give uh, me season a, two's all right, but season three is. If it's zombies, I'm be really upset. No, no, no. It's like a, like a, a cross between fucking like Goonies and. Um, well, that's a good start. Maybe a bit of X Files and a bit of like 
it's, it's all 80s. Oh, it's like okay. It's, like references. I don't want to go into the, too much, but it's horror. Oh, I'll check and, it. I'll check uh, it. I'll check it. I'll try and get it downloaded then to watch. Definitely. Definitely. Season one. I'm for season it. two kind of flops a little bit, and then season three peaks. Oh, cool. Sweet. So I haven't finished season three yet. Anyway, so the Eternals, UK uh, Pence variant, which I'm quite anti. Again, it's like a reprint ripoff, is it? It's a, it's a UK Pence variant, which means uh, technically it's rarer. Because they'll 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 be less right. of the Pence version, yeah. But they're not worth as much. Ah, okay. So I've actually never seen a comic that was one point eight grade before. <laughs> well, it's quite bizarre. Fuck me, this look like somebody jizzed all over this, this shit. Is, thing, um, it's got no staples in it, man. This is jacked I, this I shit. I actually wiped my ass on the back before. I go that in. is re- that really does look like poo, doesn't it? It does a little bit. <laughs> right. So this is Strange Tales with number one six nine. And this is from 1973, but this is from 1973 when they didn't give a shit about the comic, right? Yeah. This is actually the origin and first appearance of um, Brother Voodoo. Now, the interesting thing about this is that Voodoo, apparently, Brother Voodoo is going to be the next villain in uh, Black Panther number two. But... So it's not Doctor Strange? Is it not Black Panther? I thought it was Doctor Strange. Oh, it could be. One of them number two. I thought it was Doctor Strange. But anyway, you might be right, but why would it be him? Is he a like, magician? I guess Doctor Voodoo. What's Voodoo? It's like magic, yeah. isn't it? I guess. So I mean, yeah, this Maybe, is. Yeah, you, um, I'm going to go with you. I think you're right. This is quite weird because normally with CGC, <laughs> they are uh, like you know most of them are. When it's nines, they're like nine, nine two, nine four, four nine, nine six, six, nine eight, eight yeah. ten, uh, nine nine ten, and then ten I, 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 up up from two, it's like point five, so all the way up to nine, and then in ones it goes back down to two again. No, 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 just it goes. I think it goes one. One. So one's the worst. The worst. Is it like, it's, it's weird. It's like, isn't it one, one, five, one, eight? That's strange. It's like a if weird. It would be that wouldn't it go up in increments though? I, I well, it know. must go increments of two. One, one point two, one point four, one point six, one point eight, like the nines do. I don't think it is. Really? I don't think it is. I, I honestly think. Either way, that's shit. That's yeah, really. I honestly bad. think it's really weird. It's the worst condition comic it's, um, it's like zero, right. which is like. Uh, Nothing. You know, they'll have like an N- this is an empty case. They'll have, they'll have um, NC, which will be no cover, and then they'll have um, they've they've done a new one, which means page now. But then there's like a zero point five, then there's a one, and then I think there's one point five, and then one eight. And wow! So that's the fifth fifth worst condition comic you can yeah. actually buy. Yeah, I mean, this is one of the ones when Johnny brought it over, and he asked me if if I thought it was worth getting. Priced. What did you call it? Well, I, I said to him that this is probably one of the worst I've seen. And I've I've submitted a few, and I've got twos, up uh, two and a half, fours, and whatever. And I said to him, "This is much worse than any of those." Um, I'm quite. One of the things that would really bug me about this is the fact that when they've recased it, there is a, a rip, and they haven't straightened the flattened the, the rip out. Yeah, I can so see. it's like creased up, still up. That it? would really bother the they fuck out of me. That. Why didn't they put that down? They it's want shit, you to it? see. Yeah, it's not yeah. great. Yeah. Fucking CGC. You need to up the game, man. Too many Newton rings on these fucking comics. Yeah, this man. one. You can get your shit um, together. Well, basically, with this one, I'm going to say to them that I want this recased and hopefully they can pull that down. But it may be that that's. They're worried about uh, ripping it off. Very fragile. But I know that uh, Paul Coogan had one of those. Yeah. And it went, you can uh, always see, you can see the flat. Um, um, James Gower flattened it and uh, that came back as a 6 5 or a 7. Shit, done really? a really six, five, must six, have done a great job pressing it. They weren't obviously the rest of it weren't like this. All right, so this is New Mutants Annual Number Two. Uh, this is the first appearance of Psylocke. I never knew that. Elizabeth Braddock. Mm. Is that her name? Clearly. Apparently so. Clearly. All right. Yep. Six as well. Fucking yeah. horrible art. Horrible art. Really bad New Mutants. A lot of the New Mutants are really bad art. Actually, very bad art on some of them. So yeah, this is uh, yeah the first appearance of Psylocke. So Johnny is a massive Psylocke fan. Funny thing about he is, he? about yeah. Psylocke is um, there are and the funny thing about like variants and stuff like that is this first appearance you could probably pick up I don't know, a pretty good copy for I'd say less than a hundred pound. Some of the variants go for a couple of hundred pound. Yeah, it's quite bizarre how now uh, some of the variants have kind of superseded the actual first appearances in value. And I think that's quite weird. That's yeah, happened. definitely, yeah. But it may be... Well, it is, it's, it's it's, rare. Maybe it's to do with how the volume of print. Well, I yeah. mean, if you've got a site, some, some, of the, some of the variants are like 500 print. If they're 500 print and you've got this, which is thousands well, and thousands is, um, of copies, then There that, is that like explains. a thing, basically. If, if you buy like, um, uh, like a long box of comics, mm. if you buy a long box of comics and it's like 90s comics, you're always going to get uh, X-Force. You're always going to get 
New Mutants. You're always yeah. going to get yeah, these shit yeah, comics because yeah, they X Factor. printed the yeah, they yeah. printed the fuck out of them in the nineties. Yeah, of course. So, that was our era as well. Yeah, Do you remember? We've got a shiny cover. It's going to be worth a million pound one day. Let's wrap it in tissue paper, put it in the loft. Well, actually, well, funny enough, I did have one that I got in the nineties and I graded it to come back nine eight. What was it? The um, Spectacular Spider-Man two hundred, the one with the Green oh, Goblin. Oh, the Green Goblin one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that them foil covers are yeah. bulletproof though. So. Yeah, that's the last one. So these are all Johnny's ones. Yeah. So uh, yeah, before we could talk all day about this, and uh, we do. it'd be very boring for you. So uh, yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for for watching. Um, if you like any of the comics, uh, click on the bell. Uh, no, no, not that yeah, way smash around. a like. Smash, smash a, like a like if, if you're you, digging the yeah. comics. Yeah. And if you uh, you know if you want to be uh, notified of any more of these videos, click on the bell. And uh, yeah, it will come up to close to 12k now, and we you know we're still here. We're one of the we're one of the oldest uh, running sort of channels in the sort of hobby these days. You know now one of the older uh, one of the old guard, dude. We're the old guard now. We were new school not too long ago. Yeah, but yeah, so thanks very much for helping us get onto our journey and supporting us with it. Mad love to everybody out there. Yeah, peace. Peace out.